Oxygen therapy has come a long way since the days of the iron lung. Metal tanks did seem quieter and more convenient by comparison. But they weren't very portable. And weren't terribly inconspicuous either. Traveling wasn't very feasible even with the lighter aluminum tanks. They were prohibited on most airlines. Car travel with oxygen tanks was inconvenient and could even be dangerous. Oxygen patients using tanks often had to remain close to home anyway because they were dependent on delivery or refill services to keep them supplied with oxygen. These things are no longer a concern with the advent of the portable oxygen concentrator. Though there are many different designs, concentrators basically operate on the same principle. They draw in ambient air and produce medical-grade oxygen. They can use air from anywhere. Clean air from wide open spaces, air from congested cities, even air from confined spaces. The compressor motor draws in air through the concentrator's particulate filters. These filters prevent dust, pet hair, and other particulates from entering the concentrator. The filtered air is drawn into the sieve beds. The sieve beds in this particular concentrator are the metal cylinders on either side. The sieve beds contain an absorbent granule filter of a mineral called zeolite. Volcanic rock is an example of natural zeolite. The air we breathe is roughly 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and a small percentage of other gases. As the air moves through the zeolite granules, nitrogen and the other gases are absorbed, leaving only the oxygen, which is then recirculated out and delivered via cannula to the patient. The air that the patient receives is roughly 90 to 95 percent pure oxygen. Such a simple concept that's brought freedom and independence to so many. They are safe and convenient for car travel and are approved by the FAA for in-flight use. They also fit easily in the authorized storage areas. Don't let a need for medical oxygen hold you back from doing all the things you love to do.